How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to episode number two of Talking Wow, right here on the No Holds Bar Network YouTube channel. My name is Kyle Masters. I'm your host. I'm your owner and CEO of World of Wrestling. We are here to recap last week's show, which was week number three, and preview this coming Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern time on Twitch, week number four of World of Wrestling. We have a big show planned for you guys this coming Wednesday as we are on the road two with arms wide open that is our next pay-per-view happening in two weeks hope to see you guys all there so without further ado let's recap last week's show get you guys up to date on what's going on in the world of wrestling and we are going to start out with kenneth cloverleaf he had his invitational matchup open up the show last week which was uh going to be a good one as we've seen his last two invitationals were very exceptional but he had a big plate in front of him as he had the murder hawk monster lance archer answered the call so a lot in front of Kenneth Cloverleaf for this one. But he did prove to the WoW universe once again that he does belong here in World of Wrestling. As he was able to defeat the Murderhawk monster with that ankle lock. That vicious ankle lock. And making him tap out. Who will answer Kenneth Cloverleaf's invitational matchup this week? We'll have to find out. We then moved on. We had the tag team tournament cha uh, championship tournament continue. We had the FTR and the Young Bucks going up against each other in all AEW type matchup here. It was a very, very good matchup. Probably the best tag team match of the tournament. But unfortunately, like a lot of these matches in this tag tournament, it ended up in a countout victory. And the victory did go over to the Young Bucks as they won by countout. But this is going to stop here in the tag team tournament as every match going forward will be no countout. So we stop getting count out victories such as the one we seen last week between FTR and the Young Bucks so Young Bucks moving on here in this tag team championship tournament to decide our our first ever world tag team champions um, so we'll see what happens as the tournament goes on as we take a look at the bracket now we have the Bullet Club which is the Gorillas of Destiny American Alpha Young Bucks and Lucha Brothers all moving on with still a couple of first round matches to go it looks like the first round will be ending up at the pay-per-view and then we'll start the second round starting after the pay-per-view as well so who will come out on top as our first ever tag team champions we'll see as the tournament continues we're going to move on here to Brian Cage and Brock Lesnar the situation is going absolutely crazy between these two they were supposed to have a tables match uh, last week, but it ended up that both competitors just fighting each other at ringside before the match even started and the match never got on their way Both competitors are just absolutely killing each other each and every single week here We don't know what's going to on what's going to go on with these two as we see here Brian Cage just decimating Brock Lesnar with an incredible move through the Spanish announce table and Was unable to compete in the tables match this week. So this coming uh We'll have an update with them this coming Wednesday. I have another match planned for these two to hopefully settle this. We'll see what happens. We're going to move on into the triple threat match, the main event from this week on World of Wrestling. It was an incredible main event in the Triple Threat Classic Tournament. This was the second triple threat match to decide who the three winners would be to go on to the uh, go-home show to have a chance at Will Ospreay's European title. We had Daniel Bryan, Pac, and Switchblade Jay White face each other in an incredible main event. It was probably one of the main events for the ages for World of Wrestling. A lot of great talent here in this match, but it ended up being Daniel Bryan, of all people, to defeat not only Jay White, but on the, unfortunately Jay White being on the outside, but with this vicious kick to the side of the head by Pac, knocking him un unconscious, and Daniel Bryan picking up the victory and moving on here in the Triple Threat Classic Tournament. He will go on to the Go Home Show as we have one more Triple Threat match to happen this coming Wednesday, which we'll preview in the preview show later on in this episode. As we see here, the two competitors that have moved on, Seth Rollins and Daniel Bryan, are going to the Go Home Show number one contenders match. That will be an elimination style Triple Threat match as we wait the last competitor which we'll find out this coming Wednesday on World of Wrestling and we'll find out who those competitors are in the preview show coming up in just a bit here we do have to address the Kenny Omega and Adam Cole situation as well this is going to tie into our pay-per-view folks we have a big announcement to announce right now as we seen last week Kenny Omega attacking Adam Cole in his entrance Adam Cole not being able to uh, compete against AJ Styles on his way to trying to face Kenny Omega for that championship Kenny Omega has gotten in the way of Adam Cole the last two weeks. And as we see here, what happened last week, a vicious powerbomb through a setup table on the stage. 
to Adam Cole. He was left unconscious and unable to compete in that match. And you know what? I need to settle this between these two. It, it this, this has to happen. I, I'm sick and tired of these guys attacking each other each and every single week, stopping this from happening. So, ladies and gentlemen, at the pay-per-view, it is going to be Kenny Omega versus Adam Cole for the World of Wrestling World Championship. They need to sell this, and they're going to sell this in the ring. It's going to be a great one. I cannot wait to see these guys finally go at it and, and, and settle this, this, this bad blood they've had between these two. So both of them will face each other in the middle of the ring in the first announced match for with arms wide open. Speaking of Adam Cole and his, uh, he's, he, he, we know he's part of the faction, the Undisputed Era. We saw on week one of World of Wrestling in the Tag Team Championship um, tournament that uh, the Undisputed Era lost in the first round to the Lucha Brothers. And we saw after the match, Bobby Fish upset about the way that, 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 that the team lost and Kyle O'Reilly very upset. And it didn't look like they were on the same page. Um, people were wondering what was going on with, with Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish as, as Kyle O'Reilly just walked away from Bobby Fish. And we, 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 we have no idea. We had no update up until uh, not too long ago uh, as Bobby Fish went to settle this with Kyle O'Reilly and, and, and see if they're, they still have a friendship with each other. But we're still getting no word as to why Kyle O'Reilly walked away from Bobby Fish. And Bobby Fish doesn't know either. So, we're going to settle this the only way that we can, ladies and gentlemen, in the second announced matchup. Bobby Fish will take on Kyle O'Reilly at the pay-per-view with arms wide open in a one-on-one -on -one match. Who will come out on top? Will they settle their differences? We will find out. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the recap from last week in week three. If you guys missed anything, please go back and watch, um, watch that on our uh, Twitch channel, which is uh, twitch.tv slash noholdsbarredgaming. You'll go over to the video on demand section and you will see all the uh, World of Wrestling videos that you can catch up on here in um, uh, World of Wrestling. So, without further ado, let's get into the preview show for this week. And we'll preview the first matchup here. We have the World Tag Team Championship Tournament continuing. We have the best friends taking on the North, Ethan Page and Josh Alexander. Who will come out on top in that one and move on into an already stacked second round of the Tag Team Championship Tournament? We're also going to have Kenny Omega speaking about the news that I just said. He will be speaking to us about these news and about the current situation with Adam Cole. We'll hear from our World Heavyweight Champion this coming Wednesday on World of Wrestling. We also have the last matchup in the Triple Threat Classic Tournament. Jeff Cobb, Finn Balor, and Shinsuke Nakamura will compete against each other to whoever joins Daniel Bryan and Seth Rollins in that number one contenders Triple Threat match in the go-home show to see who move on to the pay-per-view to face Will Ospreay for the WOW European Championship. We also have the Kenneth Cloverleaf Invitational continuing this week. Who will step up to the plate and try to defeat Kenneth Cloverleaf? He has been doing so well in this tournament so far. We've seen him uh, have great matches with the likes of John Moxley. Um, we've seen him face Kevin Owens and then defeat the Murder Hawk Lance Archer um, this past week on World of Wrestling. Who will step up to the plate and see if they can defeat Kenneth Cloverleaf as he continues to prove to the WOW universe that he belongs here in World of Wrestling. In our main event, we have Will Ospreay versus Hiromu Takahashi in a champion versus champion match. Our European champion taking on the North American champion, what is sure to be a great main event. But we're also going to have to address another situation with Brock Lesnar and Brian Cage. They will face each other in a no holds barred type of match. This way, anything goes. If they fight before the bell, they fight before the bell. But these guys need to settle it this week, and I hope they settle it. Brock Lesnar, Brian Cage, no holds barred match this Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern time on World of Wrestling. So that is your preview for week four, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed that preview show, and I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the recap for World of Wrestling here on Talking Wow. I'll be back here each and every single Monday to pr uh, preview this week's show and to recap last week's show in case you missed anything. But again, if you guys missed any of the footage, go over to twitch.tv slash noholdsbarredgaming. Check out the video on demand and watch last week's episode and get caught up here with the World of Wrestling. 
Hope to see you guys this coming Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Again, guys, on Twitch, if you need help, there's a link down in the description below. Hope to see you guys there with another jam-packed week here in World of Wrestling. I'll see you then.